So this is not about sexism. This is about somebody that's not been elected into the position that she is. She is, you know, it, it's a tough thing to say, but actually women and men can be very devious. They can be very controlling. They can be very manipulative. And unfortunately, I personally believe that Carrie has an agenda and she's trying to get her own opinions and her, her own way. We didn't elect her to be in that position. So, and I also, I can't have respect for anybody that spends over £800 on a roll of wallpaper. Um, Sophie, do you think that Carrie Johnson has undue influence or is this misogyny? Or uh, I think I think actually Sarah Vine, the uh, male columnist, described it as slut shaming today. Yeah, I do. first of all, nobody has slut shamed her and it's not misogyny. I think here's the problem with Carrie. All of the problems that are existing in Downing Street have one common denominator and that is Carrie. And people have a right to call that out. And nobody in, in the column, she, uh, Sarah Vine was saying about how people attacked her when she spoke about Michael Gove and saying that she shouldn't have an opinion. Nobody has said that Carrie doesn't have a right to opinion. Nobody has said that she can't have a political view. The problem is, if she wants to go into politics, then she should stand for election and people can have a choice whether they want her there. The problem is, is she's got far, far, far too much power. And that's what people are angry about. She, her hand is wrapped so tightly around Boris, it's unbelievable. And she's not elected. All she is, quite frankly, is the Prime Minister's wife. And she's nothing more than that. I think that's a bit unfair, don't you, Edwina? After all, any <clears throat> spouse will have an influence on their partner. And I can't think of a Prime Minister that hasn't had the ear of their other half. Yeah, we used to get exactly the same comments being made about Dennis, uh, Dennis Thatcher. And it was held that he was far too influential on Margaret, for example, when it came to dealings with South Africa, which was at the height of the apartheid era. Um, and that was probably correct, that Margaret couldn't get her head around the idea that um, actually the apartheid government was was as wrong as we as we all knew it to be. Um, uh, but some of the comments that are made now about, about Carrie, I think, are really very much out of order. Uh, what are we saying now that a, a woman, a spouse, uh, shouldn't have her own opinions and shouldn't express them and shouldn't discuss them with her husband? This is presumably one of the things that attracted Boris to her uh, in the first place. And it's not as if uh, Carrie Johnson has brought the whole green agenda, which you also hate um, it totally inappropriately, I, I must admit. Uh, I must say, to uh, Downing Street, because Margaret Thatcher herself was making speeches on that over 30 years ago and saying we had to do something about global warming. Uh, and everyone thought she was a bit bonkers at the time. She didn't get that from Dennis. Um, no, I think it, the prime minister's spouse can do and say what they like. I would always warn her against responding in public to anything that is said about herself, because that is, you know, you're often better just ignoring uh, some of the comments that are made. 